I'm not really a musician, but it just so happens that I have in front of me a fabulous instrument which the Japanese call koto. I suppose it would be best described as a table harp. Long instrument, stringed with bridges, horizontal harp. It was customary among Chinese poets in the old days to read poetry and strum on the lute or table harp at the same time. And I've got here a curious old text called Saikontan, which means the Vegetable Root Discourses written by Kojisei somewhere around 1624 and I thought I'd like to read some of this to you and to get into the right mood I suggest that uh, you try to become a little stupid that is to say childlike, as if you hardly knew how to talk, and didn't really know very much about anything that's going on. Just listen as you would listen to the wind. If the mind is clear, a dark room has its blue sky. If the mind is somber, broad daylight gives birth to demons and evil spirits. The just man has no mind to seek happiness. Heaven, therefore, because of this mindlessness, opens its inmost heart. The bad man busies himself with avoiding misfortunes. Heaven, therefore, confounds him for this desire. How unsearchable are the ways of heaven. How useless the wisdom of men. The Tao is common property. It should be pointed out to all we meet. Learning is as ordinary as eating rice at home. According to the circumstances, it should be applied circumspectly. The ancients left rice for mice and did not light lamps out of pity for moths. These thoughts of theirs are the operation point of humanity in life. Lacking this, a man is a mere earthman, a wooden body. The Zen sect says, when you are hungry, eat. When you are weary, sleep. Poetry aims at the description in common language of beautiful scenery. The sublime is contained in the ordinary, the hardest in the easiest. What is self-conscious and ulterior is far from the truth. What is mindless is near. <laughs> 